the latest installment in the Meghan and Harry fashion saga is nothing short of a disaster. Let's just cut to the chase and get straight to the dirt, shall we? So, there's Meghan Markle, former actress turned royal renegade, strutting her stuff at Paris Fashion Week like she's the queen of the catwalk. But hold on to your fascinators, dear readers, because this was no ordinary fashion statement. Meghan's audacious choice for the evening was a strapless purple dress that had the entire fashion world doing a collective facepalm. Now let's set the scene here. Meghan Markle, alongside her ever-so-casual hubby Harry, attended the premiere of a Bob Marley film in Kingston, Jamaica. You'd think that, given the occasion, she'd want to blend in with the crowd, right? Wrong. Instead, she chose to stick out like a sore thumb in her purple monstrosity. Meghan's outfit consisted of what the so-called fashion experts, if we can even call them that, believe to be a bespoke flowing maxi skirt from Carolina Herrera. But let's not stop there. We can't forget the slicked back bun that had the fashion world buzzing. Oh, Meghan, the bun really pushed the envelope, didn't it? It's like she was trying to channel her inner Hollywood diva at an event where the dress code was clearly island casual. But here's the kicker, folks. It wasn't even a dress. No, no, Megan decided to mix things up and wore a black tank top with the aforementioned designer skirt. Because who needs a matching top when you're the Duchess of Overdressed, right? The fit of the skirt? Well, let's just say it looked like Megan ordered the wrong size, as the waistband was puckering and pulling in all the wrong places. And that black top, it didn't even match the skirt. Bravo, Megan, bravo. Now, let's talk about the mystery dress that had fashion enthusiasts scratching their heads. Rumor has it that Megan ordered a dress designed by Simone Rocha and Jean-Paul Gaultier. And you won't believe this. They turned her down. Yes, you heard that right. Even the fashion world collectively said, thanks, but no thanks, to Megan's request. And can we blame them? The dress in question was a purple bustier number with a lace pattern, a puffy underpart, and a style that was about as far from Megan's fashion comfort zone as you can get. Talk about a fashion disaster averted. Meanwhile, while Megan was busy trying to outshine everyone at Paris Fashion Week, Simone Rocha was doing her thing as part of Jean-Paul Gaultier's guest designer program. Her collection featured backless ball gowns, exquisite tulip creations, and enough bows, froth, pearls, and flowers to make even the most fashion-forward heads spin. It was a fusion of iconic motifs from both houses, and Megan's purple dress request was left in the dust. So, there you have it, folks. Megan's latest fashion foray can only be described as a colossal disaster. But let's not forget Harry, who may look like a slob, but at least had the sense to dress appropriately for the occasion. As for Meghan, well, she's just giving us more material to work with in the ongoing drama that is her style choices. Keep them coming, Meghan. Because the fashion world can't get enough of your fashion fiascos.